solving multi-step equations. I'm Ms. Winship and I will be your host for the day. We are going to be solving multi-step equations and that's our objective. Many of the equations that you see today you will have to either distribute or combine before solving. Here's our first problem. Watch the example as I work it. I need to combine like terms. I have an 8x minus 5x, 3x. Now solving two-step equations. Divide, whoops. Final answer, x is 2. So, first step, you just had to combine these common terms. Next one, this one I see parentheses. That means I'm going to have to distribute. Now, the 10y has nothing that I can do with it, so what am I going to do? Drop it. Now, the distributing that I'm going to do involves the negative. I need to distribute the negative to the 4. That makes 4y. And the negative to the plus 8 changes it to a minus 8. Again, combining like terms, 10y minus 4y is 6y, and solving very simple two-step equations. 5 by 6, uh-oh, I forgot a negative, did you catch that? And y gives you negative 2. Again, first step was distributing, and second step was combining. Okay, now I need you to locate your geometry and algebra worksheet that was given to you in class today and put the problems, uh, you're going to work these following problems on that worksheet. Go get it now. Okay, first problem, this is number two. We need to write an equation and then find the value of x. If you notice, we have from point A to point B a total. So I'm going to write my equation as x plus 10 plus 9 equal to the total, which is 22. Combining like terms, there's nothing in front of the parentheses, so I can just drop the parentheses. x plus 19 is 22. We have a one-step equation, and our final answer is 4. Now, if you're asked to find both parts, the two parts, x is 4. Now, the first part, if you plug in a 4, the length of AC is 14, and the length of BC would be 9. So really watch what they're asking for. Okay, next one. Now, if you remember, two complementary angles form a right angle. We have two different angles adding up to 90 degrees. Let's do the problem, draw a picture, and write it down. If the measure of one angle is 12 less than twice the measure of the other. So, <laughs> there's the bell. Twice the measure of the other is what we're going to write first because it has the word than. It says 12 less than that. Now what we talked about in class a couple of days ago, if this is 2x minus 12, then the other one is going to be x. We need to add those two together, and the total is 90. You've got to remember that complementary is 90. Combining like terms, and solving your very simple two-step equation. Now again, be careful what they're asking you for. 3x goes into 102 34 times. So x is 34. Back into your problem right here, the first angle is 34. But notice it asks you to find the measure of both angles. Your second angle, you're going to plug in 2 times 34 minus 12. Or you could simply subtract from 90. And that final answer is... 56. So your two solutions are 34, whoops, sorry about that, and 56. Okay, now we're going to talk about supplementary, and I believe this is our last problem on this worksheet. 
A measure of two supplementary angles is five less than four times. So my first angle, I'm going to do this one a little bit different without a picture. My first angle is going to be called X. My second angle is going to be four times the other five less than. We need to add these together because they are supplementary. Supplementary means that they add up to 180. Whoa, that's a lovely 5, isn't it? Combining like terms, x and 4x is 5x minus 5. Add your 5. 5x is 185. And when you divide by 5, you get 37. So my first answer is 37. I'm going to take it back over to my problem. X is 37. Take the 37, plug it into 4. So 4 times 37 minus 5. Or if you like, you can subtract from 180. That gives you 148. Now we come to the check it out portion of our notes. These are the three problems. Please pause them and work them now. Okay, we're going to work out the check it out problems. 2a minus 8a is 6a, plus 3 is 8. Subtract 3 from each side, another bell. 6a is 5, and dividing, the final answer is negative 5, 6. Next check it out problem, distribute. Be very careful and notice that when you distribute a negative to a negative, it gives you a positive. Solving two-step equations. And D is 5. Did you get it right? Good job. Last one. Distribute. And then combine. 4x and 2x is 6x. Solve a simple two-step equation. And x is 8. You did it. We're done. I don't believe there are any more slides. See you next time.